Hey guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2018, the album, Dad AF, SilverDaddy.com. Rock on, gorgeous woman. All right, let's get right into this video. <laughs> so I put this Q&A up on my Instagram yesterday, my Instagram story, you know, like right in there in the corner. I'm basically technological. I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't do math. But I'm so technological that I now have figured out that Q&A question thing. You know, you know what I'm talking about, the little question box that you can put on Instagram. Oh my God. Whenever I find something new, like a Snapchat filter, I mean, those Snapchat filters have been around forever, but I just decided to start using them. But whenever I find something new, I'm like, okay, I'm incorporating this and I'm using it. Why wouldn't you? Tools in your toolbox. So anyway, I put up this thing on there yesterday and I said, hey, I'm going to do a QA and a tomorrow. Ask me questions. Well, I didn't expect to get as many questions as I did. I got like over 150 questions. I mean, it was crazy. And up until the minute that I was filming this video, I was still getting questions. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the best that I can to answer as many questions as I possibly can. Completely, listen, unedited, raw, and uncut. I mean, you are going to get the real deal all the way, okay? So you might you might have bitten off more than you can chew, let's just say. So I'm going to get right into these videos. Or right into this video. I'm going to get right into this video. I'm going to get right into these questions, and I'm going to start answering them for you. Now, a couple of them I went through and I prepared. I have some props over here. Beast. But most of them I didn't. So most of them I haven't really thought through my answer at all. So, uh, first question, which YouTuber do you think gets the most hate but doesn't deserve it? Um, you know, that's a tough question because I think that that's like insinuating that that YouTuber doesn't put anything out there. Uh, I don't think any deserver, <laughs> any deserver, I don't think any YouTuber out there that is just kind of doing their own gig and staying, you know, in their own lane deserves any hate. Like, I'm not a person that believes in hatred in the world. I just, it doesn't work for me. When I have anger or hatred towards somebody or something else, like, that typically affects me more than it affects that person. So I don't let people rent space in my head for free. Um, but I would say, and I know that this is going to be a real pop unpopular opinion. I think Trisha Paytas gets a lot of hate unwarranted, honestly. Like, yes, I know she trolls. Yes, I know she puts out these extravagant videos for views and stuff like that. But it's not like she's going in there and she's like picking people apart and talking about other people <laughs> like a drama channel. You know what I mean? Like, she's just kind of doing her thing. People don't have to watch her. And yet they come over there and they pass so much judgment. Um, I honestly think that most YouTubers get kind of the equal amount of hate across the board. And I think that's kind of normal. That's part of the gig. You kind of get used to that once you sit down. At first, I will say as a YouTuber, it's really, really hard to get used to kind of like, oh my God, people don't like me. Like, you know what I mean? But after a while, you're kind of like, there's going to be a lot of people out there that don't like me, and that's okay. And in fact, I just did a video on my Peterisms channel. So if you're new to my channel, if you're new to my channel and you don't know anything about me, I have four channels, okay? I have this channel, and then I have a booktube channel called Peter Likes Books. I have a story time channel where I tell, like, it's motivational, inspirational. I tell things I've learned. I, I, basically, based on the mistakes I've made in my life. That's Peterisms. And then I have a daily vlog that I do. August 1st, I'm starting the Storytellers channel, which is all of your stories that you guys are sending to me, and I'm going to put them up on that channel. So anyway, and if you go watch my vlog today, I may be starting an ASMR channel. Just saying. All right, so anyway, um... But yeah, so I think that a lot of YouTubers get all kinds of hate out there that's, you know, unwarranted. Uh, what is your dream collab and why? My dream collab. So I just saw this question come up, like, right before I got on, got on here because I was screenshotting him. I have to say, and I know this is going to really surprise people, but because he was, like, one of the very... Well, Chris Crocker I would love to collab with. Uh, but I would have to say, like, Tyler Oakley, honestly. Tyler Oakley, like, I watched back in the day. We interviewed him for our website. He was so nice. He just was so pleasant. I really think that Tyler is a really positive person, and I don't know, I, I just, you know, he's like old G for me, he's like OG for me, like he's somebody that I've watched for a really long time, I know his channel's not doing great, you know, I give him a hard time for that, but I would love to do a, you know, a collab with him, because it's not about, for me, about the numbers and all that kind of stuff, it's about being able to meet these people, and that would kind of be like a, like honestly, like that would be a star moment for me. All right, uh, let's see, next question. If you were the CEO of YouTube, what changes would you make to the platform? Oh, well, here's the thing. I'm not a big complainer about YouTube. You know, like, YouTube's changed my life. YouTube has allowed me to make videos and be able to communicate with 
thousands of people that I would never ever meet in my real life. It's built my confidence. It's made me feel better about myself. It's allowed me to share things about myself that I would have never have had a platform anywhere else to share. And I know that kind of sounds phony, but it's the truth. Um, you know, so I don't complain a whole lot about YouTube, like the demonetization and all that kind of stuff. The, the coin that you get on the side, I think is real nice. But, um, and I know there are a lot of people that make, use it as a living, so I understand all that. I think that there are people out there that use their channels to destroy people. And I think that they need to, there needs to be some kind of advisory board on YouTube that is made up of certain channels that are extremely problematic that people bring forth and say, if enough people come forth and say, I think this channel needs to have taken a look at, that no, they wouldn't instantly just take the channel down, that there would be an advisory board that would sit there and look at their behavior as far as their YouTube videos, as far as, and, and obviously this would be somebody that had quite a few you know, subscribers because they would have to have some kind of power because when we talk about power differential, that's important, right? So it would be somebody that you know had a certain amount of subscribers and that they were affecting other people, not just on YouTube, but across social media, whether that be Instagram, Twitter, you know, wherever, and to see what this person represented and to see if they felt that YouTube was a place for them to continue to voice their opinions. Um, I don't think that will ever happen, but that would be the thing that I would change. Okay, do you have a favorite quote or saying? Love watching your videos. Thank you so much. Um, I don't have a favorite quote. Well, I do have a favorite quote uh, from Maya Angelou, and a lot of my favorite quotes are from Maya Angelou. Um, I think she was probably one of the wisest people to ever have graced this planet. Um, but when, you know, she said, when people tell you who they are, or when people show you who they are, believe them, they know themselves much better than you do. I love that quote because it has been proven to me in life. But the other quote that I love is when she was talking to Oprah Winfrey, and Oprah was talking about, like, the gossip magazines, talking about her and her uh, boyfriend Stedman and making up all these lies and allegations. And she was like, I don't know what to do with these lies and allegations, right? And uh, Maya Angelou looked at her and she said very simply, with just a very calm face and peaceful face, she said, but see, you're not in that. That has nothing to do with you. That has to do with them. And I've remembered that. And I think that that has been a profound life-changing moment in my life that when I heard that, to remember that what other people say about me really has nothing to do with me. And I'm not in that. Does that make sense? So I think that's probably my favorite quote. Um, out of all of your channels, which one do you consider your favorite to put out content on? Well, I get to do different things on each channel. That's the thing. And I think people don't understand that. They're like, why do you have so many channels? Well, I have so many channels because I have a lot to say, first of all, right? But my drama channel, I get to sit back and kind of react and observe situations that are going on and either laugh and kiki it up and be funny. Or I get to kind of look at it in regards to like mistakes I've made in my own life and maybe, I don't know, try to pass on some learning experiences. My Peterisms channel, I, I adore, and I was just telling Alex about this, that I am having so much fun on that channel because that is really where I feel like I'm sitting down with my friends, like in recovery or in my real life, you know, like that is my real life, but my other friends that aren't in recovery, and we're having a conversation and we're talking about life, like real life shit, you know, like getting older or recovery or, you know, how to deal with toxicity, and, you know, I feel like I'm just sitting there talking, and it just is so, it's really... I love that channel, and I'm so happy that it went in the direction that it did, and I have to give a shout out to somebody. Um, Ola, who has watched my videos from the very beginning on BookTube, she told me what I needed to hear, and a true friend will tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, and I was going through a lot of changes on that channel, and I didn't know what to do. It used to be called My So-Called Healthy Life, and it was a weight loss channel, and she said on there in a comment, or I can't remember, maybe a message, and she said, let's just be honest, this channel's a complete mess, and it just needs to be dealt with. Had she not said that to me from somebody that I really cared about, I don't know that I ever would have changed that channel, you know? It just would be over there today still being a mess. So I think you have to be very conscious when people say things to you out of love and compassion, and I think that moment of Ola saying that to me was like, that was another life-changing moment, you know? That she cared enough to say something. Um, my booktube channel, I love. I mean, that's my passion, is reading. So I love doing that, and that's just kind of, you know, something that I feel blessed to be part of that community. And then my vlog, I don't know what I would do without my vlog. You know, I started my vlog because I didn't really know what was going on with my other channel, and it's ended up becoming this thing that I just, I am obsessed with. I love vlogging on a daily basis. So I like all four of my channels, I don't know. Uh, what did you do, what did you used to do before your YouTube famous? Am I YouTube famous? Well, I've talked a lot about this on my vlog, so I won't talk about it on here, but 
Um, I had a 13 year career working in a treatment facility for addiction. Um, you know, I was known as an addiction specialist expert in the Midwest. I did a lot of speaking engagements. I worked with the Department of Corrections, judges, probation officers, still know a lot of them to this day. Um, you know, it's a small community. The addictions community is small. So I worked in that for 13 years. I then went on and, you know, had a private practice. I did life coaching. I did corporate training. I've done all kinds of things across the board. So, uh, and I still do many things. And, you know, it's interesting because as you get older, you realize you don't have to just be on one path. You can be on like 10 different paths. You know what I mean? And I'm in a position in my life today where I have so many things that are opening up for me, so many different opportunities, not really by way. Oh, I also, I never say this because I just don't think this way. I'm also an author and I have two books coming out next year and I have one book published already. Um, but you know, like when you're younger, you think this is my career path. But when you're older, I think you think this is my career path. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of things on there. So don't ever, you know, narrow yourself down to one thing you can do, you know, back when you're a kid and you're like, somebody says, what do you want to do when you get older? And you're like, well, I want to be an attorney and I want to be, I don't think we say that we want to, I want to be a, you know, a lawyer or a doctor and I want to be a movie star and I want to be a model. You know, it's like, you could be that today. There are people out there that are proving that you can do that. So dream your biggest dream. I really am a big believer in that. Um, and I don't believe that I'm YouTube famous by any means of the word. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who feels they need to drink when they go out to ease social anxiety? Um, I would give yourself 30 to 90 days of going out and not drinking. See how you feel. If you do okay, it probably isn't an issue for you. If you really, really struggle with it, you may have a substance abuse issue. And I would find somebody to talk to about that in a 12-step program or maybe, you know, a counselor, a life coach, recovery coach, something like that. All right. Uh, what is your favorite part about vlogging? Just the randomness of it, that I just go on and talk about nothing, that <laughs> people actually listen. I mean, it's really nice to have somebody listen to you. You know what I mean? Like, in my real life, like, my mom back in the day, she'd be, like, doing dishes, and I'd be like, Mom, you're not even listening. She's like, I'm hearing everything you're saying. I'm like, you're hearing it, but you're not listening. <laughs> There's a difference, you know? I, I love that vlog channel so much. Um, what is your favorite part of living in ND? Well, it's a safe community. It's a cheap community to live in. I don't know. It's my home. But I'm ready to have two homes. We're also going to get a place in Florida soon. Um, what's your best advice for someone in your, their 20s? My best advice for someone in their 20s is to uh, figure out what you want your life to look like five or ten years down the road, but then take a lot of risks. Travel. Travel, travel, travel before you settle down. Um, what was your proudest moment? Oh, God. My proudest moment. I'm not big with pride, arrogance, and ego. I'm just not. Like, I try to live a humble life, you know, and uh, realize that I'm no better, no worse than anybody else. But if I had a proudest moment, my proudest moment is my husband and I will be celebrating 10 years together in August and um, seven years married. Marriage relationships are not easy, and we've made it, you know? And I get real emotional about it because I am, it, it, my husband is the love of my life. And uh, I feel so blessed to have him and his family in my life every day, and I love the family that we've created with our dogs. And, you know, uh, there's not a lot of people that can say that, you know? And my dad said to me recently, I was talking to him, and about some, it just, and he was like, your anniversary's coming up. And I said, yeah. And uh, he said, my anniversary is my dad's birthday. And he goes, uh, he goes, wow, he goes, you guys have been together for a really long time. He goes, that's quite an accomplishment. So I'm really proud of our marriage, you know? It's a cool thing. Uh, let's see. How are you so positive all the time? You are so beyond inspirational. Oh, my God, thank you. Um, I, I'm not positive all the time. I, I need, to, it, that needs to be said. Like, it's not like I walk out of, wake up out in the morning, I'm like, ha, ah. I mean, no, okay? I wake up and I'm like, the dogs are crying. I'm like, I gotta take the dogs out. I gotta give PP his medicine, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. PP is my dog. Um, he has heart disease, so there's medicine he has to be given twice a day. Um, but, you know, I have a choice every day that I wake up on how I want to choose to live my life. Do I want to be positive or do I want to be negative? Do I want to see the glasses half empty or do I want to see the glasses half full? Um, and here's the deal. There were, um, there was a couple years where I was very, very negative and, um, it caused friction in my relationship, in my marriage. And my husband said to me, it was right around Christmas time. He said, oh, this was probably four or five years ago. He said, five years ago, he said, uh, I asked him what he wanted for Christmas. And he said, I want you to wake up with a smile every day next year. Cause I was so negative and it really affected us, you know? And I said, okay. And I actually took a picture of myself smiling and he still has it next to his bed. 
I've consciously, consciously, consciously worked with my sponsor and my 12-step program and my friends and reading materials and meditations to really change my attitude to be more positive. You can change any habit in 21 days. If your habit is being negative, wake up every day and really make an effort for being more to be more positive, to be, you know, inspirational to yourself. Read motivation books, you know, read inspirational books, and you will change over time. But we're not going to be positive all the time, and you can't judge yourself against that standard, you know? Oh, my God, more questions. Uh, I absolutely love your palette reviews. If you were to review another one, what would it be? I'm going to review the Norvina palette. Um, will you? And I'm going to give it away as well. Will you ever do a meet and greet for your Indianapolis fans? Yes. And I did a whole video on my Peterism's channel called Why I, have, Why I Don't Do Meet and Greets. Um, what's your favorite Peterism's video you've done? Oh, wow. That's tough. Um, God. That's really tough. Any of the ones that I talk about addiction and recovery on there. What advice would you give your 17-year-old self? Love you, Peter. Um, if I was to give my 17-year-old... Well, it, here's what's hard, right? So I got sober when I was 22 and a half. So I wouldn't tell my 17-year-old self, don't use drugs and alcohol, because I truly believe that everything that happened in my life and every choice that I made led me to who I am today. So I believe that I had to go through that. Um, I think that I would say to my 17-year-old self, if I could give him some advice... There will be a day that all these things that you want that you don't believe that you can have will be true. If you had told me at 17 years old that you can be in a relationship with a man openly and people won't kill you for it, because that was a fear of mine, honestly, and you'll be married to a man and you'll have a home and a life that's just as boring as everybody else's, right? And uh, if I had known that, if I could really see that in my head... I don't think I would have been so stressed out. I don't think it would have affected my addiction as much as it did because I really didn't believe that could be the case. And I'm very lucky. And if you watch my coming out story on my channel, I feel very blessed. I had two parents that were 100% supportive. I really had the easiest coming out experience ever. It wasn't that. I just didn't ever believe that society would accept us, you know? Like, and it's a different world today, thank God. Um, what skincare do you use? You don't age. I uh, said makeup by Shay. Hey! Um... So I've been using the Kalamazoo face wash from Lush, and I've been using, or the Kiehl's men's face wash, and then I put a vino lotion on my face. That's it. That's all I do. Before this, because so many people were getting on my ass about not using skincare products, I literally, for the last 46 years, have washed my face with a bottle, uh, with a bottle, with a bar of white soap every day, and that's it, and put a vino lotion on my face at night, because that's what my mom taught me to do, so... Yeah, I just have kind of honestly been blessed with good skin. Like, I never had acne in high school. My friends did. They teased the shit out of me for it. My husband had horrible acne in high school. I feel so bad for people that go through that. I just never went through it, you know? Um, what's the worst purchase you've ever made? Oh, my God. That hunt a killer box. No true story. I felt so scammed. I was so excited. I did a whole rant on the hunt a killer box. I was so excited about it. And let me just tell you, those people were so nice. They reimbursed me for my money and everything and reached out to me. But, like, and people think I'm stupid. Like, I didn't know that you had to do all 12 months to figure it out. I get that, okay? Even when you buy one box, even if you have to have 12 mo months, it's just, it's tr it doesn't make any sense. It's the most boring. It doesn't even, it, I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. So let's get into some more questions. Oh my God. I literally have like a hundred questions to go. Should I do two videos? Should I do a part one and a part two? I might. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my God. The questions just keep on going. Can I have your old camera? Well, my one, my first old camera is completely broken. Doesn't work. And I'm using my other one. So I'm going back and forth. Uh, how do you want to die? Oh my lord. Oh my lord, Kelton Elliott. Oh, he has, okay, so this, I watched his YouTube channel. He was in a video, I think I'm thinking of the right person. Kelton, if this is, is that your name? I can't, I don't have my glasses on, I can't do math. Um, I think it was Kelton that was in this app for the Amazon, Apple, or Alexa, or whatever, which I can't stand that thing. And then he did a video reacting to it. So he's a YouTuber as well. How do I want to die? I can tell you, I don't want to die being eaten by a shark. That is the truth of the nature all day long. Celebrity crush, uh, Daniel Craig or Andy Cohen. If you weren't doing YouTube, what would be your dream job? Well, YouTube isn't really like my full-time job. I just want you to know that. If I could be a best-selling author of the New York Times, that would be my job. Or to write my memoirs. I want to very much write like David Sedaris or Augustin Burroughs and put out books about different periods of my life and then travel and go speak about it. That would be my dream job. Honestly, to be able to travel, talking about my stories of my life. Oh my God, I would love that. Um, 
What's your number one advice for a newly married couple besides marriage counseling? Um, have lots of sex. <laughs> Seriously. Because as life goes on, you start getting comfortable and stuff like that. And, you know, I think that we don't talk really about this very much, but sex is a real intimacy in sex. And not just physical sex, but all forms of intimacy. And, you know, I've talked a lot about being in marriage counseling. And one of the things that we've talked about are the 10 forms of intimacy, or I think it's 12 forms. And there's like these 10 different, 10 or 12 different forms of intimacy. There's like recreational. My husband and I did a whole video on my Peterism's channel called Does Marriage Counseling Work? So go check it out. And he talks about it on there. But there's like spiritual intimacy, recreational intimacy, intellectual intimacy, financial intimacy, physical intimacy. But I don't think we talk enough about sustaining intimacy within a marriage, sexual or otherwise. And I think it's really, really important, you know? At some point, I think, like you start becoming kind of like friends and roommates. No, 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 okay? When people say to me, like, I know this is going to piss off a lot of people. I have a best friend. I don't need my husband to be my best friend. Okay, I'll just say that. When people say, my husband's my best friend, I'm like, seriously? Serious? Well, what do you do when you're pissed off at your best friend and your husband? Who do you talk to? You know what I mean? So, but I think it's great that people are that uh, happy with, I just don't want to fuck my best friend, okay? Have you ever seen Tanya Jean? She and I just, we wouldn't work. So I love her, but I don't want to fuck her. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you got to meet one movie celebrity, who would it be? Oh my God. Well, I'm going to consider her a movie celebrity. I don't care because she's been in so many movies. Uh, Oprah Winfrey. $10 million or an immortal life, what would you choose? Interesting question. I would have used to have said an immortal life because I was so afraid to die. But now I would say $10 million and live the best life that I possibly could until I was no longer here. I don't want to be immortal. I just don't. Um, you got to make the most of your life. We're not going to any of us be here forever. What are the top five things on your bucket list? I have no clue, honestly. Traveling somewhere. Fiji, Bora Bora, those would probably be two. Um, I don't know, having a book on the New York Times bestseller list, but I don't really have a lot of control over that. Um, I don't know. Being in a movie, being in a, you know what I mean? Like, being a, have a, like a small character role in a movie, I would love to do that. Uh, let's see. I think you are not reading the Peter's Book Club's books because you haven't mentioned Lucky, are you? Okay, yes, I am reading the, the Peter's Book Club. So I have a book club on my booktube channel. I think it has like 638 uh, members right now. I have an assistant. Her name is Mel. Hey, Mel. So go contact her with any issues if you can't get a hold of me. Um, but right now we are currently reading Lucky. We just finished reading ja or, uh, Chances by Jackie Collins. I have not started Lucky because I haven't finished Chances yet. I'm finishing it right now. So when I get that done, I will then be reading Lucky. So yeah, I am a little bit behind. But I've read all the books up to that point, and I'm having a total blast with it. And the next book that we're reading, I think, is White Trash Zombie by Diana Rowland. So if you want to start a book club, come over there. What breed are Tucker and Boo? Tucker and Boo are half uh, a Papillon, half Maltese. They are considered Papatises. Okay. Who is the one YouTuber you would love to go to the Chinese buffet with? Oh, Trish Paytas, hands down. A Chinese buffet? That question? Okay, a mukbang with Trish Paytas at the Chinese buffet. Um, what do you do to calm yourself down during major instances of stress? I call my sponsor or my best friend. Favorite Lush item? Okay, so here's where I have some props. Um, I, sleepy lotion. This lotion which I have on right now. I will link them below with an affiliate code from Amazon. So if you buy it, I get like three cents. Um, this is my <laughs> total transparency always. Why would you not disclose that it's an affiliate code? Um, I love this lotion so much. It smells, it says drift off into slumber with sweet lavender scented skin. It smells like lavender kind of, but it's like 10 times better than that. And then they have this body spray and it's called Twilight. Body spray, switch yourself with comforting sweet lavender and Tonka. I don't know what Tonka, Tonka truck? Tonka and Feel tension melt away. Oh, I feel the tension. When I have stress, like that last question, I just... So my camera stopped. So I think they have other ones, but this is like my favorite one right here. But if you want a cheaper version of something that's very, very similar, I got this at Target. It's called Pillow Plump XXL, and it's by Soap and Glory. And this is not the original one, but this one's like $11, and it just does the same thing, so I love it. Okay, next question. What do you do in your spare time? Read or listen to audiobooks or uh, hang out with my husband? Um, okay, there's so many of the questions are the repeats. What is your favorite channel memory so far? When Shane Dawson and Trisha Paytas were watching my video, that was, like, I just was really, like, kind of like, this is so surreal. Like, I'm such a fan of these people, and they're, like, watching my videos. Like, I can't even explain it to you, you know? Um... Yeah, it's, it's just a very, very cool moment, you know? I don't know how to explain it other than that. 
Uh, let's see, I'm going through these. Oh my god, so many of these are the same. Favorite lip plumper, I love to know, uh, how are you? Favorite, how, what proudest moment? Uh, at 20s, living in Indianapolis. Um, oh my god, some of these are all that, will you ever do a meet and greet? Yes. Uh, what's the worst purchase you ever made? Again, um, god, I don't know what that would be. Did I already say? I don't remember even what I said. Um, when are you gonna do a meet and greet? I don't know. Oh my god, these are all like the same questions. Mmm. What are you reading right now? I am currently reading Chances by Jackie Collins, and my audiobook is called Meddling Kids by Edgar or somebody. Um, would your dad ever do a Q&A with you? He probably would if I asked, but I don't know. My dad is very, very private, so I probably wouldn't ask him to do that. Um, you're beautiful. Oh, thank you, princess. It says the princess. Um, do you feel like you're a YouTube famous yet? No, not at all. <laughs> I mean, like, I think some people know who I am, but I don't think that I'm famous, right? Have you watched Drag Showdown Season 3 yet? Okay. Oh, my God. And I don't know if you're a contestant on there. Delilah Wild. I don't think you are. I think you've been on there before. Okay, so um, I am obsessed with this drag race on YouTube by Crystal Ball Diva called Drag Showdown. I'm currently watching season three, of which only one episode's out. Two people left, so she brought two new people in. And uh, Mistress Max, I think is that her name? Mistress Madam Max, Madam something. She's my favorite. And she's only done her introduction video. She hasn't done anything else. Um, let me just tell you, I love these races. So yes, and I'm watching Cutthroat. Uh, drag, which is another race. Oh, oh my God. Okay, that is some fantastic shit over there. That is some fantastic. I, if you watch Cutthroat, Cutthroat Drag, that Jaxi, could you get him in contact with me? I mean, he is so creative. I would love to do a collab with him. I mean, he is so creative. I love him so much. Okay, so anyway, uh, would you ever come to the Mall of America? Yes. Uh, what's your favorite thing about living in Indiana? What's your favorite thing at the Chinese buffet? I've been to the Chinese buffet since I became a vegetarian last year on August 4th. How many videos do you film in a day? Okay, my vlog, um, my Peterisms channel, my booktube channel, and a video on my main channel. Sometimes I film two Peterisms and two drama channels, so that would be six videos that I film all in one day. It just depends. I love to film videos, you guys. I, I like, I love to film videos. Are your blue eyes natural? Yes, they are. My dad and my mom both had like super, super blue eyes. My dads are like steel blue. My moms were like baby blue. Um, what's your favorite memory as a child? Uh, spending the summers at my aunt and uncle's farm. Um, what is the best financial advice you have ever been given? Um, don't get a credit card. That was by my dad. And buy a house before you're 30. That was by a friend of mine that I used to work on or work with. Are you a romantic? I am like super romantic. Uh, what are your current goals? My current goals are to get in the body of my dream life. Like I want my dream body. You know what I mean? To then get a international modeling career. Be the spokesperson for, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. I would love that, though. That would be so fantastic. I want to get into really good shape, and I want to enjoy, you know, being able to wear certain clothes and stuff like that again. I want to finish the two books that I'm working on, get them out, get them published, and continue to just live my best life and make my videos and travel with my husband. I have a life beyond my wildest dreams. I have a, I have a life beyond my wildest dreams. I really never, I never, I never thought this would be my life, you know? Um... Have you ever been to French Lick Casino? I'm from that area. Yes, I've been. I don't know why that got me emotional. I have. Um, my aunt and uncle's 50th wedding anniversary was two years ago. They're, they're both since passed away. My aunt took us all down there, the whole family. We stayed at the uh, Baden Springs Resort, the one that's the big circle with the Christmas tree in the middle of it. And uh, I filmed the whole thing in a vlog on my main channel. You can go see it. It's over there. And I'm really happy that I have that vlog to remember my aunt and uncle by. Um, how did you decide to start doing YouTube videos? I did them for kind of fun back in the day. Some with my husband, some by myself. But when I got serious about it, it was to market my book, in all honesty, and I've talked a lot about that. PP is doing very, very well. His medication is working. Some days he has bouts of cough, a coughing, but today has been really good. CC, oh hey, CC Suarez, how are you? Um, what is your worst, worst fear? CC, sharks. No, 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 no. I'm terrified of sharks. Um, let's see. What type of camera do you use for YouTube? So I used to use a Sony Alpha 5000, but I will never buy another Sony again. Their customer service sucks, and the camera, both cameras broke down. So I now have a Canon G7X. <laughs> I'm reading it as I look at it, and I love it. Favorite Fleetwood Mac song? Favorite Fleetwood Mac song? Well, I'm more of a Stevie Nicks fan, actually, than a Fleetwood Mac song. But I would say Dreams, probably. Um, let's see. 
Can I be one of your good GDs? Of course you can. This is going so long. What would your stripper name be? D Dakota Montana. <laughs> I love the name Dakota. Um, what's your favorite ice cream? Um, ben and Jerry's Chubby Hubby. And I don't even know if they make it anymore. I haven't had ice cream. I had We bought ice cream cones. But I'm, what did you do for your 18th birthday? I got ripped, okay? I was so trashed and drunk. And I remember the next day. Oh, I just spilled my coffee everywhere. The next day, we couldn't find anywhere to go eat because... Um, it, I don't know, it must have been a Sunday or something. So we went to this, uh, <laughs> buffet place called, it's like an upscale buffet, and it's called MCL, and we were all saying there, I've never been so hungover in my entire life. Not a great way to spend your 18th birthday, let me just tell you. Oh, and then I had to go to a birthday party that my mother threw for me with the family. Can you even imagine? Ugh. What's your Starbucks order? <laughs> Venti iced coffee. I was remembering that. Kill a beast. Uh, what's your Starbucks order? A uh, Venti iced coffee with two equal or a cold brew with two equal. Favorite meal? Macaroni and cheese and a peanut butter sandwich. Okay, um, will you marry me please? I'm already married. Pink sugar doll for fun. <laughs> I'm already married. Or yeah, sure I would if you had lots of money. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Maybe. Um, do you think you will ever make any more Miss Connections videos? Those are my favorite. I might. I mean, like, I don't ever rule anything out. If I get excited about doing it again, I would, you know. Um, mm, what is one thing you wish you could go back and change in your life? Okay, so... I'm like, in my head, don't get emotional. My mom's last birthday, um, I did not get her a birthday cake. And she said to me, um, I can't believe I didn't get a birthday cake. She had gotten a birthday cake every year for the last 63 years. And I didn't get a birthday cake. And I'll never forget, I looked at her that day and I said, Mom, it's not like you're going to have more birthdays. I mean, I'll get you a cake next year. I totally forgot. I was busy. And she goes, I know, but it just would have been nice to have a cake. It's simple, small things like that when you look back on your life that you regret. It's not the big stuff. It really isn't. And my mom did say at the end of her life, because we got to have this amazing talk, and she said, you know, when you look back on your life, it's not the things you did that you regret. It's the things you didn't do. I wish I had bought her a cake. It's as simple as that, you know? Um, how are you so wise? <laughs> I'm not, you guys. Like, listen, it is really just me showing you and telling you stories of how I've screwed up in the past. That's really what life is like, you know? When, like, lessons will be repeated until they are learned. So when you finally learn the lesson, you're like, yes. And then people are like, you're so wise. And you're like, no, I just screwed up for the last 20 years. I finally have accepted that and moved on, you know? Um, okay. If you could dye your hair any color, what would it be? Blue. I had it blue once in high school, though. What's your favorite alcoholic drink? I don't drink. I've been sober for 23 and a half years. My sobriety date is December 17th, 1994. Have you met any rude celebrities? Um, um, I actually not have, I haven't met any rude celebrities. Always nice celebrities. Um, most of the celebrities we've interviewed were really nice. Somebody in here asks, who's the rudest YouTuber that you've met? I've met quite a few rude YouTubers, honestly. Somebody in here also asks, are there a lot of major YouTubers that you talk to on a regular basis? I wouldn't say like that we pick up the phone and we're like, hey gal, what's going on? And blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff. But there are people that I talk to, you know, uh, text and things like that. Yeah, sure. Um... Let's see. I'm going to ask just a couple more questions. What's your favorite TV show right now? I just finished Twin Peaks Return. So good. I loved it. Um, right now I'm watching Riverdale because my husband and I are watching it together. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to go through these really quick. When are you going to do a video with Shane Dawson? I would love to do a video with Shane Dawson. I would, I would love. Somebody in here asked me, like, my dream collabs. I think I already answered that with Tyler Oakley. I would do a collab with anybody. I am so enamored of these YouTubers. You guys listen, and I'll end on this. When I started this, I never thought this is where it would be. You know what I mean? And I'm not anywhere near where these people are. But I feel so blessed to just be able to do what I do on a daily basis and have you guys watch it and comment and follow me and think I'm a little bit cool and all that kind of stuff. So if I ever got to do collabs with people that I have watched for a while or years or whatever, I would be like, oh my God, I would be faint, a million faints. I would be mind blown, you know? I would love that. I think it's so cool. So I don't know. Maybe one day. It's happening to some of my friends around me and I'm so, so happy for them, you know? And so maybe one day it'll be my time, but right now it's not and uh, everybody's journey is different, right? So anyway, I thank you guys for watching this. I think I'll just do this and not do a part two because this is really, really long. I think it's like 30 minutes. So uh, if you have any other questions, I, go over to my Instagram, follow me, and uh, then I am going to do a little Q&A. If you have other questions, I'll just answer them on the Instagram on there. So fun kind of questions, though, you know. All right, you guys, I love you, and I will see you later. Bye.